Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we don't really look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the Daily Office Lectionary. And today is Friday at Easter week. We're still within the octave of Easter. It's such a grand sub celebration. It has both an octave, and then we'll continue celebrating it as a season for 40 days till Ascension, and then 10 more tacked on till Pentecost. Uh, I thought today we would take a look at one of the lessons that's assigned from the book of the Revelation to St. John the Divine. And it's the first chapter. Let's pick up at verse number nine. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what was thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches, which are in Asia, unto Ephesus and unto Smyrna and into Pergamos and into Tyrathyra and Sardis and to Philadelphia and to Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were like wool, and white as snow, and his eyes were as flames of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun shining in its strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and death. Okay, so I think mean, it's just wonderful. We have the, right from the beginning of John's account of the book Revelation, it's this amazing uh, vision that he has. Right from the beginning, we have the person of Jesus Christ appearing to John. Uh, and what is it he says about himself? He says, in the beginning and the last, right? I'm the first, I'm the beginning and the end, right? So he's God. And also, we hear that he says, I am he that liveth and was dead. So one of the most important identifying marks of who Jesus Christ is, is the one who died and rose again. And now I am amazed uh, on discussion boards. You, know, you, you get on Facebook and that's not always good for your spiritual health. Sometimes it could be helpful, but, but to see so many people who have put things on there saying things along the lines of, well, Yes, Easter's a wonderful holiday, but it's but the resurrection's not as important as or blah blah blah. Or 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 else they'll they'll say, well, the resurrection and then they try to trivialize it as if it's just really about the faith of the community and the resurrected spirit of the community and what Jesus taught and did. The resurrection is an objective reality in time and space. It is the moment when God Himself who became man at the incarnation, right? When, when he be, took flesh in, in Mary's womb, which we celebrated on March 25th with the Annunciation, uh, through his birth in, in Bethlehem, right? The Feast of the Nativity, right? We celebrate that on Christmas. That this same man in time and space was crucified and on the third day rose from the dead. He is a, it is a physical reality of God conquering death. And here's Jesus Christ identifying himself to John for this vision as the one who is alive and was dead. Behold, and I am alive forevermore. So the resurrection, brothers and sisters, is such a foundational principle that anybody who tries to downplay it has misunderstood the teachings of the Christian church. Right? Let's get it right, folks, because the faith is so wonderfully and obviously important. So today is Friday, and I'm taking the day off from coming into the office. Um, yes, I'm here for this morning meditation, but I'm going home. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to go and do a wedding tomorrow for my sister-in-law on the other side of the state. So I'm looking forward to it. I'll have a morning meditation posted for that, though, uh, on that morning as well. But I hope that your Friday today, your Friday and Easter week, is full of blessings. <laughs>